provocative questions. Value to your followers and your friends online comes in the form of a thought-provoking question as, as well as just a plain statement. Think how many people have pondered that age-old question. If a tree falls in the forest and nobody's there to hear it, does it make a sound? Now, granted, you won't get very far with that stale question, but try tossing out a thoughtful question about a current trend. Or ask for opinions on a controversial issue or a social policy. Or ask for suggestions for solving some prevalent problem for everyone, or maybe a, a problem that you have for a client. For example, the BP oil spill generated thousands of suggested solutions. Some brought significant recognition and financial reward to those who offered answers or piggybacked on other people's ideas to solve that problem. Here's another example. Consider how the election process, and I'm not talking about just federal, but federal, state, and local elections, produce often provocative questions in an effort to influence the voters and even help us select our candidates. You want to make your writing on the wall, wherever you post, clear and crisp. Try for the clever. Now, of course, not everyone is a born novelist, poet, or rapper, so that clever criteria may be a stretch, but you can learn to write clear, crisp, concise, but correct comments and questions. Your writing represents your face on the screen, on your wall. It represents your attention to detail on the job. And I'm not talking about just a typo. If you have a clumsy thumbs and you're tweeting from your cell phone on a jerky elevator, of course you're going to miss a key now and then. That's understandable. But rather, I'm talking about misused words, nonsensical phrasing, ungrammatical sentences, and other grammar goofs that cause people to raise eyebrows, and it causes confusion. Those things create an image in the minds of thousands of your friends and followers. 